Alright YouTube, what's going on? Hi Terror 5000 here today, bringing another RuneScape quest guide. Today's quest is Murning Zen Part 2. I can start this quest by speaking to the head Murner beneath Western Ardung. To start this quest, I must have completed the quest Murning Zen Part 1, which is in the description below. I must also tell Arwen of the Murner's plans. So actually, we'll, we will be starting this quest in Latea by talking to Arwen. There's a sort of wee sub bit before you actually move on to the main quest. Item requirements for this quest are full Murner's clothing. This was obtained during Murning Zen Part 1. However, if you do not have the clothing, then what you want to do is go kill a Murner on the pass over into Tarawin. You're also going to require a chisel and a rope. Now, the chisel will not work from the tool belt, so make sure you bring an extra one. Recommended stats for this quest is 43 plus prayer so you can get protect from Melion because his shadows and one or two other things are really aggressive. You will be bringing food and prayer pots anyway but you will have to bring even more if you do not have 43 prayer. Also 60 plus agility because that means you'll have a less chance of failing the obstacles. However, at level 70, I will still be failing the obstacles. So I would also recommend, on recommended items, bring agility boosts such as summer pies and agility potions. However, the sure-footed Aurora will not work. Other recommended items are Ardung Teleport, so you can either use the runes, the tele tabs, you can also use the lodestone, or you can actually use the Ardung Cloak. You want to be bringing food and prayer pots as well. A teleport crystal out here to Latea. These can be obtained by killing these elf warriors. On average, one in every five will drop a tiny elf crystal. Then talk to Loon to get this recharged. Alternatively, you can always teleport out to Tarawin and make your way to here through the forest. Finally, you're also going to need a Death Talisman, a Death Tiara, or a Wicked Hood, but we'll get that later on in the video. Alright, okay, so let's get this under. We're going to start by talking to Arawinna. Or Arawin, sorry, not really at all sure how you pronounce it. And uh, basically, she's going to talk about the Temple of Light. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to now go to Ardung. So I'm just going to teleport there. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run to Western Ardung, where we were for part one, down to the Murner's Lair. So you've got, as I said, multiple ways of getting here. You can teleport into Ardung like I've just done there. You can also use the Lodestone at the north of the city. Also use the Cloak, either teleporting to the Monastery at the south of the city or to the Farming Patch at the north of the city. And what you want to do is just run all the way to Western Ardung. Now for this, make sure you equip all your Murner's gear and nothing else. So as you can see, I've still got a whip, a glory, and a shield here. Make sure you have all this off before you enter through the wall. Or you will get attacked, or you will just not be allowed in. Gonna run north and up into the lair here, and then we're gonna go downstairs and talk to the head murder. Right, okay, so once you get here, what you're gonna want to do is talk to the head murder. And do they have the key for that excavation site yet? And basically, um, he's gonna tell you that you have there's loads of plenty of keys. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna obtain one. If you lose it, then you come back to him and get another one, and that's you now got a key. For this, make sure you have got your prayer ready. I've brought some food just in case, because uh, of the shadows. Um, maybe set your quick prayers as well. So just set it to protect from melee. I've actually got a ranged one on there as well, so I'll just very quickly change that. This just means that you don't have to have your prayer book open at all time. So now the key's going to unlock this here, and we're going to run straight in a westerly direction. You're going to have to watch out for these dark beasts as well however these aren't the main concern you should be able to get past them without too much difficulty i'm not at all sure how aggressive they are they've not attacked me however right and you're eventually going to get so far that it's going to enter a cutscene, and basically there's going to be loads of dead guards on the ground basically it says here well as you've seen it see we're here this is a shadow now so if you do want to you can put on protect from melee However, I'm just going to run away from it. And then we're going to have to go back and talk to Arwen. So we're going to teleport back out to Latea. And we're now going to go and talk to her about what we've just seen. She's going to ask what's the latest news. And then it's about the Temple of Light. This is also another name for this quest. And there we go. 
Alright, so now we're going to need to head back to Ardung and back down into the caves. So off I'm going to do a teleport and I'm just going to speed this part up until I get back down to the entrance of the Temple of Light. Make sure you have full Murner's clothing on while entering the city again. Also make sure that you do have some combat gear like I suggested earlier on. Ideally, if your prayer is quite low, you might want to bring also armor that's also got good prayer bonuses as well because you will be praying quite a bit for this next section. However, that all depends on your combat and prayer levels. Right, okay, so once you've made it this very long distance, what you're going to want to do is search this guard here, and it's going to give you a colour wheel and an Eldon's journal, I think. Now, what I'd recommend here is putting on your combat gear, uh, because you're going to be going into an area with a lot of dark shades. You can read through the journal if you want, however, we're going to leave all that till later. What you're going to do now is you're actually going to enter into the Temple of Light, and what you're going to do is run past this crystal here and climb up the staircase. From here you're going to want to run south, down this corridor, and then climb up the staircase to your east here. Once you're now up here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run north. Watch out, again there's dark beasts. I'm actually very quickly going to put my protect from melee on because they are actually doing me some damage. That's why I've also got some food with me. Then climb up these stairs, down and up, so you've just basically gone from one floor down a floor and then back up to this floor and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run east and then south and you'll beat the black crystal what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search the black crystal and it says this is many black shards what you're going to want to do is use your chisel on the crystal and this is going to give you a black and crystal a smaller version now after this what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to teleport back to Latea and talk to Adawin now this is also going to summon a Lund as well, and basically what she will do is she's going to change the crystal for us. So we're going to talk to Adawin now, and he's just skipped through all this. And then she should summon a Lund. Now this might take a little bit of uh, time, uh, she's going to take the crystal off you, a Lund, and it might take a minute or two until she changes the crystal after you've talked to her. Uh, so hand the black and crystal here and I'll take a look at it, so use it on her, you hand her the shard, now let me see, hmm, this may take a few seconds, and of course as we know from the previous quest, things didn't really take a few seconds. Right, that was actually ready uh, surprisingly quick, that was ready after about 10 seconds, so there we go, and that's us now got the newly made crystal. Right, okay, so now that you've got the white crystal, what I'd recommend doing is talking to Adawin. I have the new crystal, what I'm supposed to do with it now. So what we're going to be doing is we're just about to head to the Temple of Light, and this is where the quest gets really long and confusing. So for this, I'd recommend banking. What I've got here is I've got all my Murner's clothing, I've still got my chisel and my rope, the new crystal, obviously, and I've got a teleport back out to here. I've just recharged them with the loons in the forest. Also, the book that we picked up and the color wheel the key which we need to get into the temple, two bits of food, I've also got some super restores to help charge my prayer and my run, I've also got a prayer pot and I've still got my Ardon teleport, you're going to need some free inventory slots for this as well. Now if you do have a low agility level this is where you want to be bringing an agility potion or summer pie, I'm actually going to risk it because 70 I think might just do me not too bad however if we do fail it's not an overly large inconvenience. But if you have, I would say, 60 or less, I think it's really near enough required. For this, make sure you have full prayer points. So, if you're still in Latea, which I would hope you are, then what you want to do is just run up these stairs here, and there's an altar at the top. Just recharge your prayer points here, because we will be in the Temple of Light for some time now. Okay, so once you're now ready finally to go, I'm actually going to equip my Mourner's gear right now just because you're going to need to equip it to get back into the city. What you're going to do is teleport to Hardung and 
I will meet you outside of the Temple of Light. Alright, I realised that I forgot to say there, make sure you bring your Death Talisman as well if you're not planning to bank again. I reckon I might have to bank again just to get some more super restores, prayer pots, maybe some food at some point because there's about five or six steps to this next process at least. Now once you've came back through this door I'd recommend putting on your combat gear again and equipping up. Make sure you're ready and your inventory is ready and let's head on to the Temple of Light. Alright okay so once you arrive back in to the Temple of Light what you're going to want to do is run past this and run up the stairs like we did originally. Except this time we're going to want to run in an easterly direction and come over here and you're going to want to collect crystals. You're going to want to pull this lever. Uh, it's going to say there's nothing in the tray and basically hopefully everything should reset. And then hopefully this is going to now you're going to pull the crystal collector, now that's resetting. And then hopefully, collect crystal collector. What you're going to want to do first of all is take the crystals. So it's going to give you a yellow crystal. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect the mirrors. So this gives us a yellow crystal and it gives us four mirrors. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to search this pillar of light and there's nothing in this pillar. So what you're going to want to do is use the hand mirror on this and then you're gonna it's gonna place the mirror however the beam of light is shining in the wrong direction we're wanting it to go north so what you're gonna do is you're gonna search the pillar of light and we're gonna rotate the mirror and you're gonna want to rotate the mirror and that's gonna project it north so once you're happy with that we're gonna run north and we're gonna again use another mirror on this thing here now you need to watch out obviously because of these stupid things you can attack them quite easily search the pillar again I'm gonna rotate it we're wanting this beam of light to go west so just rotate the mirror until it you can see it facing west so there we go that seems okay I'm actually gonna quickly put on some prayer here again you can do the same thing here you're gonna use this mirror here and then you're wanting it to go south coincidentally the mirror is actually being placed so it's directing the light south so that's ideal for us now you're gonna to want to run south and see this pillar here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place the yellow crystal inside the pillar. So that's going to change the beam of light from a sort of white transparent colour into yellow. Going to want to continue running down here. And once these stupid shades stop attacking me, you're going to want to place the final mirror into here. And you're going to want to project it in an easterly direction over there to the light door, the blue light door. So I'm going to have to search it again, rotate it to an easterly direction, no, there we go. Okay, now this is the point where you might want to activate your agility potions or eat a summer pie. Because what we're going to have to do is use these climb along this wall here to get into the light door. If you do fail, it's not any problem whatsoever. What would happen is you'd fall downstairs and if I do fall, I'll walk you through it. If not, you just want to go north then east and you'll be back at the start on the lower floor where the white crystal is. So we climb along the wall support now, it does these automatically for you and unfortunately I have failed so what I'm doing is I'm just going to run back around I'll get back to this part. As you can see here it just brings us back up to the start just going to want to run back south back to where we originally were. You're then going to want to try it again until you manage to get over there. Right, okay, so I finally managed to make it, I think about fifth or sixth time, so I'm starting to realise that it's probably best for me to bring a magic potion, sorry, agility potion with me or summer pie. Anyway, once you manage to get through here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pass through the door. There's another fucking shade here, wherever you are, so I'm just going to kill this very quickly. And then you're going to want to search this chest here. Open it, search it, and then basically going to find two mirrors and a cyan crystal so this will be used for the next part all right okay so now that we've done this part then what you're going to want to do is head back to where the original pillar was so you're going to actually have to come along and back along this wall if you fail this wall here it actually doesn't matter it's about equal if you fall down here no doubt i'll manage to make this first time but what we're going to want to do is turn it to return to where the originally the original pillar was sorry and then we're going to be using the beam again but this time in a different direction now, for some reason I managed to fail again there, 
For this though, you might need a wee bit more inventory slot, so it might be suggested that uh, you might have to drop one or two things. However, you can withdraw the mirrors. Uh, you don't have to withdraw the mirrors at once. That's why I suggest always withdrawing the crystals first. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to want to come over here and uh, you're going to collect crystal collector. And there's nothing in the tray. So what you're going to want to do is pull the lever and that's going to reset everything. You're then going to collect crystals again. And you're then first of all going to take the crystal. That's going to give you a yellow crystal again. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect mirrors as well. So collect and take the mirrors. Now there might be an extra mirror in there actually but I can't withdraw it right now unfortunately so but we can easily come back and get it if you don't have enough inventory space. Okay so first of all we're going to start here and first of all we're going to put a mirror into this one here and this time again we're actually wanting the light beam to go north so that's nice and convenient for us. We're then going to want to put another mirror into here and then we're going to want it to project in a westerly direction so we're going to have to search this and we're going to have to rotate the mirror in a westerly direction here. Now this time what we're going to want to do is use the yellow crystal and then, um, Jesus that's a 15, put it in there so that makes that beam into a yellow beam, so from a transparent to sort of a yellow beam. Again here what you're going to want to do is put another mirror in here, this time we're going to want to project it north, place the mirror in there and then we're going to have to search and rotate, rotate the mirror once, twice, again and again and there we go that's it going north so it's now up to here now we're going to be placing a mirror into here and then search the pillar rotate i'd recommend right this is stupid i'd recommend uh, turning off auto retaliate so it means that basically if you are searching these pillars and the attack you, you're not going to be interrupted, however I somehow did get interrupted anyway. You're going to want to project this beam in the easterly, not westerly direction like so. And then what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to place a cyan crystal into this pillar here. Now if you add yellow and you add cyan or blue, yellow and blue equals green. So I'll project a green beam out and then you're going to pass through this light door here. And then there we go, so we're going to open this chest up here. And then we're going to search it, and we're going to get two more mirrors. Alright, okay, so now that we've got the mirrors, what we're going to want to do is head back to the lever. So we're going to pass through here, and go back to the very start. Now this is going to be a wee bit more confusing now. Those two that we've already done are actually easy ones if you found them easy at all. Now we're going to start using different floors of the temples. This is where it gets really complicated. Now I've actually drunk a prayer pot as well, just to give me an extra inventory space. First of all I'm going to collect, and there's still a mirror in here, which you're going to need. Now what you're going to want to do is pull the lever, and that's going to reset it. And then you're going to want to collect crystals, and take the crystals out, make sure you do that, and then take as many mirrors as you can as well. Okay, so what we're going to do here now is we're going to use a mirror and we're going to direct this beam of light in a northerly direction. So I'm going to have to search this and I'm going to have to rotate it to the north. So if we rotate it, there we go, like so. Close out of that. This is going to be rotated to the west one. So very quickly, I'm just going to kill the shade. Use the mirror upon the pillar and then have it going in a westerly direction. Now what you're going to want to do here is put the cyan crystal into the pillar. So that's going to create the beam cyan. Then you're going to want to come along to the next pillar to the west and then place a mirror in and direct it north. I've got two shadows on me unfortunately. I do apologise about these. The problem is there's another one, Jizo. The problem is really this quest isn't long, well it is long, it is a very long quest, but it's made long by shadows because if there wasn't any shadows you can get through this really quickly. And anyway, we're going to rotate this in a northerly direction now, so this goes north. And now what we're going to do is we're going to direct this, just kill this shade as well. We're going to direct this in a easterly direction one. So place that in there, search, rotate it to the east. That's the west and that's the east like so. 
Okay, so now that we're here, this is where it starts to get confusing now. What I want to do is we want to project this beam upwards now. So what we're going to do is get a mirror. And you're going to want to place it in the pillar. It's actually automatically done it upwards for me. But if I was to go into rotate, you could tell basically here that um, sort of the beam comes in at a westerly angle. And if it's a 90 degree angle, it's going to bounce off that and it's going to come straight up. Uh, you'll be able to tell by looking at the mirror. Now what we're going to do is climb up the ladder here. And this takes us up to the next floor. So the currently, oh, I'm going to put prayer on here quickly. Uh, the beam is now actually going into this pillar, but it's not leaving this pillar. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a mirror on this pillar and we're going to stick it in. And we're going to project that and that's going to be projected into easterly direction and we'll meet up with that in a second. Now if you do not and haven't withdrawn all the mirrors you're going to have to go get the next mirror. And we're also going to have to make our way along to the corner of this top floor. So that's the north western corner of this floor. I'll show you how to get there in a second. I'm just going to have to very quickly unfortunately return back and get the final mirror. This is the problem with if you do not have enough inventory space and these issues will start to occur. That's why I managed to drink all my prayer pot and refill my prayer points, fortunately. Right, okay, so it actually suggests returning to here because it'll make it easier for you to get to the place that we need to get to now. Because this is a sort of maze thing, it's actually quite difficult to get to. You think, okay, third floor, northwest corner, quite easy, but no, you have to take a wee detour. So you're going to come onto the middle floor here if you're not on it already, and you're going to run directly south. And then there's going to be a ladder on the wall. You're going to climb up this ladder and this is going to take us onto the third floor now. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to not run that direction, that's for sure. We're going to want to run north one and then we're going to want to run to our west. Now for a situation like this, I would maybe recommend Protect from Melee. Also coming up here is two agility shortcuts, however I'm not at all sure if they can be failed or not. Um, but something is going to happen here. As you see there, there is like rotating blades um, and you can't really avoid them. So your player should just jump out the way, I think, of them. This is automatic. So uh, now that once you're in this wee alleyway here to the west, what you're going to do is run to the very north and that should be us in the top corner. There are still shades around here, but I do not think there's any more agility obstacles waiting for us. And now the beam is coming along from the east, which we already set up a minute ago. So what we're going to want to do now is once I kill the shadow, we're going to want to project this down and it's going to get projected right down to the bottom floor. So if for some reason I cannot kill the shadow, there we go. I'm going to search it and we're going to rotate. I need to put a mirror in it first and I'm going to rotate it and we're going to project it down the way. So there's no way of actually checking, like obviously if we wanted to project it south we could see the beam is going south, but this way there's actually no way of checking. Uh, but we should be able to line it up okay. So first of all what we're going to do, that would project it, I'm not at all sure, up. That's going to project it from west to south. That's projecting it from east to south. Now we are wanting to project it down and that's what I'm pretty sure it's doing there. So it's coming in from the east, it's coming at a 45 degree angle and it should be going down. So I believe that's projecting it down, so we're going to leave that. We're now going to come, go back the way we came. Once you've came and climbed down the stairs, you're going to want to sort of return basically to where the pillar is, but you're actually going to want to go down them stairs as well. Down here. And then you're going to want to run in to the northwest corner on the bottom floor now. As you should see, the beam of light is projecting this light door open, so you should be able to pass through it. If that for some reason hasn't happened, then you've followed these steps wrong, so go back and look at the video. Then what you want to do is you want to project it onto this light door here, so we can open it. So we're going to search the pillar and we're going to rotate the, mi rotate the mirror, even. So there we go, that's that done nicely there. And we're going to pass through here and just follow this to the end and there will eventually be a chest which should have some loot in it. Oh, 
Watch out, there's also another agility thing there. Open up the chest, search the chest, and there we go, there's another two mirrors. So what you're going to want to do is now return back to where the lever is on the middle floor. So again, watch out for the agility thing here. The trap. Once you come through here, you're going to have to rotate the mirror to reopen that one again because you cannot walk through it. So you have to search and then rotate the mirror and rotate it back towards the east. And now we're going to head back up to the pillar. And we're going to head back up to the lever. Alright, okay, so that is us now completed three doors of six. We've only got three more to go. So what you're going to want to do after you've returned to pillar is do not pull, and I mean do not pull the lever. Because basically for this next door, the fourth out of sixth door, basically we can actually get away and we can get quite lucky and we don't have to repeat a step. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow the beam of light uh, over to this pillar here, which is where the cyan crystal should be in right now. You're then going to search that pillar. You're then going to take the crystal out of there and that's going to come back into your inventory. You're then going to use the yellow crystal and put that into the pillar, like so. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to want to go down to the southwest corner because that uh, the northwest corner on the third floor sorry uh, because that is basically projecting that up and that's where we want it to be in the northwest corner so that should already be preset up from last time now the change that we are going to make once we get there which again from the very start lever is just run south and then climb up ladder on the south wall i'm really badly getting hit here actually that's times two i want times five that's a good prayer to use actually, Rapid Heal. And again, run north here, and we're going to run to the northwest corner. Now, the mirror is actually pointing down right now from the last door that we opened. I'm taking a lot of damage. But we're actually going to project it in a southerly direction now because we want it to go down this corner here. Now, remember, watch out for the agility traps again. Also, watch out for the shades. Shades will start to become ever more a problem now, especially as these tasks and especially when these mirror beam things get a lot much longer much more complex that's what i'm trying to say right okay so once you get to this pillar here as you should see the beam should be red so as long as you have changed and just hide behind there that's a good tactic as well hide at the opposite side from the shade as long as you have changed the crystal then the beam should be red coming in here so what you're going to do is search the pillar and you're going to rotate we want it to rotate in a southerly direction like so not so it's going down floors and now we're going to want to run to the opposite corner so we're going to want to run to the southwest corner we're currently in the northwest corner this is just a simple run down i believe into the corner and then we're going to want to project this downwards got two shades on me right now so we'll just very quickly kill them right so we're going to want to project this downwards because we want to project this down to the very bottom floor so we're going to use a hand mirror as this is the first thing we've used this pillar i'm going to place it in there we're going to search rotate the mirror and we're going to want the beam to go down so it's coming in from a northerly direction so that's not that's projecting east that, now that'll be projecting it down below, it'll be coming in at a 90 degree angle and it'll project at 90 degree angle and because the mirror is sort of at like a 45 degree angle you can look at it, it's going to bounce off and go directly down. So that is the sort of correct way the mirror should be looking. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get down to the bottom floor in the southwest corner. Now this is actually quite difficult this part, we can't do that because it's not on access from the bottom floor. Previously when we've had to go down to the northwest corner on the bottom floor, it was quite easy, we could just run there, but we can't do that this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go along here, and if I can remember correctly, we're going to go down, can we get down these stairs? Yeah, we're going to climb down the staircase here, we can climb down, and we're now going to be on the second floor and what we're going to want to do is run down to this low agility wall here so this is not us now on the middle floor up against the south wall you're going to want to climb over this wee agility wall here and then what you're going to do this is where the rope comes in you're going to want to use this rope and you're going to want to use it on the rock 
Use it on the rock, and the rope will now be permanently placed on the rock, which you can use to climb down. So we're going to climb down it. Again, watch out for shades. I'm going to run into the southwest corner, and as you can see, this light door is open here, and that allows us to take the loot out of the chest. We can pass through here. Quite nice and simple. Another shade in here, but doesn't seem to be attacking me. And there we go, and that will give you a blue crystal. Alright, okay, so now that we've got the blue crystal, what we're going to want to do is go back up to where the main lever is at. So from here, you're just going to want to return. Not too difficult. Climb up this rope here. We're now on the second floor. And then hopefully we should just be able to come up here, back over the wall. And then hopefully we'll be able to go along this corridor as well. What are you doing in my video? You're ruining it. Nah, no, joking. Uh, this is us in the main corridor here. And then as you can see, we're back here quite easily. So, for this next bit, part 5 of 6, basically what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull the lever and that's going to reset everything again. Now, make sure that you withdraw any crystals, the yellow crystal, and then as many mirrors as you can get as well. We're going to have to come back because it's like 10 mirrors to this part. This part is really confusing. Right, so first of all what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do what we done on the very first time we came in here. Uh, which was quite basic actually, but this is only one part to three parts. So, just copy what I'm doing here. I'm going to use a mirror on this first pillar here. We're going to want to direct it in a northerly direction. So you're going to rotate the mirror once and that should project it north. However, it may take you one or more time, a few more times than that should I say. We're going to want to project this in a westerly direction. So again, placing the mirror in, searching, rotating, and then we're going to ro rotate it west. That's not going to work. There we go. That's it rotated west. So again, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fire this down here. And we're going to want to use the mirror. I have to kill this stupid shade first. Use the mirror on in here, search, rotate the mirror, rotate it south. That's north, that's south. Now when you're running down here, I'm just going to put on some restore prayers right now. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the yellow crystal in here. This is the bit again where you're going to need possibly some high agility. I failed this, I think it was five times last time. It was ridiculous. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get into there. Uh, and to get into there is quite difficult actually, so, oh shh, go away Shane. Oh no, I would have got away with it. Right, there we go, I'm getting away with it. So what you're going to want to do is use another mirror on this here, and then you're going to want to direct it in an easterly direction. So search, rotate, oh my god, honestly, you're ruining my video. Right, sorry about that, rotate, and then rotate it in an easterly direction. This is where if you have a summer pie or an agility pot, take a sip of it because you're probably going to need it. I'm probably going to fail this. I'm just going to skip forward basically until I manage to get past this part. No. Oh my god. I managed to somehow do that first time there. Really surprised. So that's me at 70 agility. Uh, so quite happy about that. Anyway, once you're in here, what you're going to want to do is kill the shadow, I'd recommend. And then what you're going to want to do is put the blue crystal back inside. Like so. Right, okay, so now that we've got that blue crystal into the pillar in the corner here, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head back along and go back along all these wall things. So like the hiddies, you're going to fail. So what you're going to want to do is just climb up the stairs and come back to here, which I'm going to do right now. Once you're back upstairs, you're going to want to run directly south to that pillar that I was showing you there before I failed the agility shortcut. Kill the shadows around you if there's any. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to take the mirror out of this pillar because it will no longer be needed. So just take mirror out here. And then we're also going to want to come up here and you're going to also want to take the crystal out of here as well. There's no mirror in here because it just passes straight through so if I can very quickly press 1. No I can't. Why? S 
search. No. Right, I'm struggling for food here, as you can see as well. Right, so take crystal, and that'll give us back the yellow crystal. And then we can return to the lever. Now, make sure you do not pull the lever here, because this will reset this whole step five of six. And it'll regenerate and give us back our blue crystal, which we don't want, because we've just placed it in that corner there. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect and you're going to want to take as many mirrors as you can get in your inventory possible. I might have room for one more actually. I'm not at all sure how many are in this section. I think there is going to be six in this section, if I can remember correctly. However, I seem to have seven. So, uh, so it looks like actually I've got maximum mirrors here, which is good. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to run over here and... I believe this middle one we're gonna want to put a mirror and we're gonna want to rotate the mirror uh, mirror and we're gonna want to rotate it and we're gonna want to rotate it into the air so that's pointing up so that one's not pointing up that one there is pointing up there it's coming in from the east and it's bouncing off and going up the way so there we go for some reason these shadows aren't attacking me now right okay so once that we've got the beam facing up the way what you're gonna want to do is run directly south and then you're going to want to run up the staircase at the south so we go up onto the third floor and we're going to find the other end of that beam which we've sent up to a higher floor. Now to get to this, once you get up the ladder, you're going to want to run north. You're going to have to go down, technically back onto floor two actually. And then you're going to want to run up and then you'll be back here. The beam of light should be coming in at this pillar here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use a mirror on this and as you can see the light is going out west. We're not going to want it to go west, it needs to go south. Let's go over take the mirror uh, to make sure the beam of light goes south, that's east. And I'll have to keep going through this and there we go, that's at south there. So what you're going to do is you're going to run back just from where you came from. So you're going to go down again. You're going to then go back up. And then you're going to be here. What you're going to do is you're going to use this fractured crystal. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to uh, project the light beam of light in four different directions. I'm going to start off by dealing with this one here to the west. We're going to put a mirror on it and we're going to put this mirror facing down the way. So unfortunately I have to kill some shades first. You happy and you happy turn off my protect from melee what we're going to do is use the mirror and then we're going to place it in here that's facing south we're actually going to want to face it down put it down to the second floor and then the first floor so rotate mirror rotate that's not rotating down that one will be rotating it down if you're a bit confused because the mirrors are starting to get really confusing and i do understand that so that is what you're looking for it's coming in from the east and it'll be going down below. So once you've done that, you're going to want to go down to floor number two. So quite easily just run a little bit east and then south, and there'll be the ladder on the wall. Once you're down here, you're going to want to run north and then west, back to the location, and you can see the lights coming down here. What you're going to want to do is search pillar, and there's a green crystal infused into the pillar so what we're going to want to do is we're now going to want to go ahead and go down to the bottom floor right i do apologize about that actually coming from where we've just been at the green pillar you're going to want to run north and we're going to want to go we're on the middle floor right now we're going to want to go down the stairs which i forgot about there and you're going to want to run down into the corner of where the about this is situated so there should be, hopefully, over here, a green sort of beam of light coming down. You're going to want to use a mirror on this, and you're going to want to project it south, like so. That's done, luckily, by default. And there's going to be a lot of shadows down here, because this is the bit under where the agility shortcut course sort of fail is. Uh, and you're also going to want to put a mirror in here. As you can see, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of shadows attacking me right now. So do watch out. Now, you're going to want to rotate the mirror and make sure the beam is going in an easterly direction like so. However, that's only one part of this. 
All right, okay, so from the bottom floor, we're gonna to want to go back up to the top floor. This is quite easily done by going back to the entrance to the Temple of Light, climbing up the stairs, then running south and climbing up the wall onto the top floor. Now, once you're up here, basically this beam of light coming down from where we put the fracture thing in, we're gonna to want to beam a light in the easterly direction. So use a mirror on the pillar and then search, rotate, and we're gonna want it to go east like so. And then you're gonna come along here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna beam the light downwards to the very bottom floor, which I will show you how to do in a minute. Now, this will pass down, uh, and it'll go through the blue crystal that we also done a few minutes ago. That'll pass through that, and then it'll go down to the very bottom floor where there's a purple door and then basically that will give us the next chest so as you can see this actually luckily enough right here's what you want in the mirror the mirror's going to come in from the west and then it's going to drop down so this should be okay i want to check if you've got the mirror right or not is when we are just climbing down this ladder here you're going to want to go back down to the very bottom floor so you can see that the beam of light is coming down there and I'm just gonna head back down to the bottom floor the same way that we came up, just in reverse, obviously. Right, so once you get along here, this door here will be opened by the green beam. Kill the shades that are inside, which I'd recommend, because it just makes this part easier. Uh, now you're gonna search the pillar and you're gonna want to make the blue beam facing north so you can get through the yellow light door. This is just done quite simply by using a mirror. Sorry about that misclick. Using the mirror on the pillar. That's going to view it back that way, so we're going to have to rotate it. Rotate it to the north, like so. That's now got this light door open, and then we can use this. And there's another shade in here, actually, which you might want to kill because it is dealing quite a bit of damage on me. Open and search the chest, and that's going to give you another fracture crystal and three mirrors all right okay so now what you're going to want to do is return back up here to the lever now as you can well you might be able to tell from my inventory what i've done is i've banked so i've just gone and got myself some more food and more prayer pots because this six part is actually really really long basically what we're going to need to do is use all the crystals all the mirrors we have and basically be able to open the door to the death altar so what you're going to want to do is return up to the main pillar and we're going to reset so the business is going to return it to normal and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect out of here now make sure you take the crystals out first make sure you do that because you're going to need the, uh, two fractured crystals for this first part of part six anyway because i'm going to break this down and also take as many mirrors as you can now the problem is for this part i think it's something like 10 mirrors so you're going to have to come back uh, just because of all the Murners stuff uh, that you'd have in your inventory and the colour wheel. So what you're going to want to do with this first one is you're going to want to use a mirror. And then you're going to want to beam this one north. And then basically I'll have to, I'll have to it's rotated south here so I'm just going to quickly rotate that mirror north. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rotate this, uh, put a mirror into it. And you're going to want to rotate it down onto the ground floor right now. So I'm not so sure if it's actually luckily enough by default. Started off, rotated down no. Um, so if we change it to that, that basically is coming in from the south and it's going directly down. So we're gonna go downstairs now that we've done that. Just comes the stairs just to the south by the lever. And then you should see that basically the light has came down from up above. Now use another mirror in here. And then it's gonna you're going to want it to point it west. I think west is the only way this one can actually go, so that's quite convenient for us. Now what you're going to want to do is use our first a fractured crystal, and then you're going to want to place it in this pillar here, and then you're also going to want to run south and use your second fractured crystal. You're going to want to use your fractured crystal on this pillar as well, to the south, and then that space is also going to make sort of another crossroads. So what you're going to want to do is just come over here to this pillar to the west, and you're going to want to use a mirror, we'll use the final mirror up here, and then we're going to want to project this one up into the sky. 
Now, I'm actually taking a lot of damage here, so I'm very quickly just going to protect from melee. And I'm going to kill these. I'm going to rotate the mirror, and you're going to want the beam to go upwards. So for that, the mirror we're going to be looking for is that one there. It's coming in from the east, and it's projecting up the, word, up the way. And then we're going to return back up to the lever to get more mirrors. Alright, okay, so now you're going to come back up to the lever, and I'd recommend collecting more mirrors. So take all the mirrors you can get into your inventory. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're now on the middle floor so we're going to want to go up to the top floor and uh, basically what we're going to want to do is, as we just done, we basically projected that beam, used the mirror up on the floor below up and that's obviously got the green gem like infused in that pillar. So that's projecting that up to the top floor so that's where we're going to go to. So on the middle floor, which we're on, you want to run south to the ladder on the wall again and then you're going to come up here and then just run a wee bit north and run a wee bit west gonna have to pray again stick that one on as well right okay so what we're gonna want to do is you're just gonna want to kill these shadows quickly because they will interrupt you when you're trying to rotate the mirror and this is quite important so what we're gonna do is we're going to use this mirror on here and we're gonna want to rotate it to the west when we get a chance and this should hopefully project out a green beam of light so that's to the south that's the west and that should be as good so that is our first color complete so our second color what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back down to the bottom floor so for that we're going to have to run south here and then we're basically just going to want to use the same route we used to get up here from the pillar on the wall Once you make it back down the stairs, what you're going to want to do is run just south. And we're back at this crossroads again. We've dealt with that side. So now we're going to deal with this side here, which we've just walked past. We're again also going to want to use a mirror actually. And we're going to also want to project this one up. And then again, we're going to want to go up to the third floor. I'm going to have to kill this stupid shadow though. So use mirror on the pillar. And it uh, looks like that by default is actually, I think it's the only way it can go to light, yeah, so it's automatically going up. So again, head up to the third floor. Once you get up to the third floor, just go north and a wee bit to the east. And then basically this is where the light should be coming from. So we're going to use a mirror and that's going to project a beam of light going in a westerly direction. We're then going to want to use come along here and use another mirror on here. Going to have to probably kill the shades first. A one, wow. Right, we're going to use a mirror on this middle pillar here and we're going to project it north. Luckily that's done that for me. You're then going to want to go north and follow that beam. So you're actually going to have to go down and then back up again. And then you'll land up at this side here. You're then going to want to place another mirror in and you're going to want to project this in a westerly direction. So I place the mirror in there, it's placing it at east. So go and rotate the mirror until it's projecting the beam of light to the west like so. Then what you're going to want to do is come along here and you're going to want to use your blue crystal on this pillar. And as you can see uh, in the background, that is us now got two colours complete. The blue one coming in down there because it's going down there and the green one's coming in there as well. That means you get all the colours. That's two done so far to unlock the door over there. Right, okay, so from here what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head to the second floor and we're going to want to withdraw as many mirrors as possible because hopefully we're going to be able to do this whole last step in one here. So you're going to want to run... Sorry, I'm doing this wrong here. You're going to want to run south and I'm getting hit quite badly. Uh, you're going to want to run south to the wall, that's the way you're going to get down. So you're going to have to go down the steps on the second floor, then back up onto the third floor. And then you're going to want to find the wall to the south and climb down and go collect some mirrors back at the lever. Hopefully we can get all this done in one. So we'll be able to get two beams done here and one and that'll be us. Be pleased to know that this hopefully should be the last time. As long as you have enough inventory space, 
that you will be using the lever. So we're going to take as many mirrors as we can. There's another three in there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go onto the north floor, but we're going to need to go. We sorry, we have. We're going to have to go onto the bottom floor, and we're going to have to go to the north wall. So we're going to do that now. And basically, as you can see here, when we put in our fracture crystals, it put beams everywhere. The one we've not been to yet, though, is the one to the north, so that's where we're going to go. Now, once you arrive here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a mirror inside here. You're going to have to kill these shades, of course. That's just part of the quest. And that is why I actually re-prayer potted and I also re-got some food as well just because I was a bit concerned and this part is quite long. So now what you're going to want to do is search and you're going to want to make sure that the mirror is projecting the beam of light up to the second and third floor. So that's now being projected up, it's coming out from a southerly direction, it's bouncing off it and going up. So there we go. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this exact spot but on the second floor. So basically the stairs we just came down. Right, and once you get up here what you're going to want to do is use the yellow crystal on the pillar, turning the beam to yellow and you're going to want to climb the stairs. You're going to want to use a mirror on the pillar right here and then you're going to want to project the beam of light to the west by default for me it's the east so I'm just going to change this and then it's going to be facing in a westernly direction like so so now what we're going to want to do is head to the very northwest corner as you can see through there that beam of light is red so we're going to want to head to the northwest corner here so what you're going to do is you're going to go down these stairs here and then you're going to want to run directly south well, sorry, I guess you're going to want to run to the west a bit, then south to the east a bit, and then south to the south wall of the temple. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to climb up the stairs and we're going to go on to the third floor northwest corner, which we have been to before. So I'm going to climb up here, come into the middle. And then I'm going to follow basically sort of this well, not quite this green beam, but I'm going to go along here. And if you remember earlier on, uh, there's these traps. So just watch out for these traps. I don't think there's any way of avoiding them. I'm just seeming to running past them and getting lucky. Um, but I guess if you do still have a summer pie left or an agility potion, use it now. Because there'll be no other time you'll get to use it up in this quest. So... Once you pass the agility shortcuts, then run north. And then basically you should have the beam of light. Now we've got two mirrors left. What are the chances? Use the mirror on this pillar. And then you're going to want to project the beam of light. Oh, I'll have to kill the shade first. In a suddenly direction to where we've just came from. So search the pillar, rotate. And then we're going to want to do from an east to south, like so. That's how the mirror should be positioned going to exit out of that and then we're going to run directly south. We're now running up against the east, uh, the western wall, sorry. And now we're at here, what you're going to want to do is use the mirror on this here for the final time. That should be you use all your mirrors up and then you're going to want to rotate mirror and make sure the beam is going in an easterly direction like so. So that should hopefully be everything. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head down to the sort of second floor but we have to do this from the third floor so we're going to want to go and come from where we have just came from. However this time it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to want to go past the agility shortcut again like we have been using. Once you get back to here you're going to want to come down these stairs here and then come down these stairs here. Now this is bit is quite important, we can now pass through into here and then what you're going to want to do, there should be a mirror already in here so don't worry, what you're going to want to do is search this and rotate this, now this is a very important thing that I'm about to say here, once, when you're leaving here make sure that, I believe you can pass through this, make sure that you turn this light from that direction back to east because 
You'll have to use underground paths to get down here or you'll have to redo all the mirrors again, all five parts. So make sure you keep that in mind. I'll re-mention it again in a minute though. Okay, so now that we've got all the three colors of lights, the green, the red, and the blue, we're gonna pass through here, and then I think we're about to enter in a cutscene. This is a cutscene because I can't really move my screen. And there's gonna be this dwarf called uh, Thorgel, I think he's maybe pronounced. And we're basically gonna talk to him. And he's basically here from the underground pass, supposedly. I can't really remember him. And you can skip through some of this now. Now make sure you have in your inventory this newly made crystal because we're about to be using this. This is why also here you want the death talisman because if you don't have it then uh, to require to get access to the death altar basically the problem is that you'd be given a list of like chores to do. I think it's something like ridiculous like uh, you've required to bring them 50 items which is just not worth it. So anyway as you do have a death talisman in your hand you should just be able to click on the altar like I just did there and you'll come into the death altar for the first time. Now what you're going to want to do is you should newly made crystal on the altar itself and this is going to place the crystal altar it starts to glow so it has actually changed a bit it's got a wee bit of a darker look around it and then you're going to want to step back through the portal do not teleport away just yet. Right okay so what you're going to want to do is pass through that door and then this is the important part here, make sure that you turn this beam backwards. I'm not so sure if you can get through, yeah you can just climb through, I think you can just walk through it actually. So make sure you turn the beam back, rotate it like so and then we're going to pass through. Make sure every time you come uh, through you rotate that. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head up to the third floor into the black crystal. So you're going to eat a food here. And then basically we're going to repair this black crystal. And it's no longer going to be black. Right there are many black and shards. So you're going to use the newly crystal on it. And it's now going to make it much more stronger. You can investigate it if you want the crystal. Lean. The crystal seems intact and is successfully powering the temple safeguard. Meaning that no one can get in that can't be. So now that that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to teleport away and we're going to teleport back to Arawin and Latea. Right, okay, so once you return to Latea, come in and talk to Arawin. Turn your prayers off because you're in, no longer in a combat zone. Um, basically, you're just going to state that you've protected the temple and I believe it's that Mooners can't get in and that means quest complete. Congratulations, quest complete. You've completed Morning Zen Part 2. Your rewards are 2 quest points, 20,000 agility experience. You also have access to the Death Altar now. And you also get 2 Treasure Hunter keys. Okay, so that is that quest complete. Just go check the quest log now. And as you will hopefully see, there we go. There's Morning Zen Part 2 complete and quest complete. Thanks for watching this video, hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like rating if this helped you out. Comment below if you've got any questions or queries and hopefully I can help you out and also help each other out as well. I realise this video has been in demand for a wee while. It did take me a very long time to make, around about 8 hours just because of all the recording, processing, editing, watching it through, creating the maps, all this sort of stuff. So it has taken a really long time the time I've uploaded it as well. It is an hour long video as you can see. Now coming soon will be Within the Light, the next quest in the Elf series and also there should be Plague's End as well. Also in the comment section below request some other quest guides you'd like me to make and I would be happy to make them when I get some time. The problem is I actually have already around about 200 quest points so I've already done a lot of quests. However a lot of the Master and Grandmaster quests I've not even touched yet so it's the later quests in the series, the more experienced ones which I need to do. Which I'm happy to do though. Also newer quests in the game as well that have been added within the past two years I've not really touched either so there's quite a lot of quests that I could cover for you guys. Two videos you guys might have missed out on. 
One is my RuneScape money making guide, which has actually been doing really well. All the methods, all three methods require low or no requirements. It's a great money making method, you can make up to about 2 mil an hour. All the methods are still active, go check that video out, it's doing really really well and it will make you some money. Also my Roving Elves quest guide, go check that video out along with my Morning Zen Part 1 quest guide. I realise you've probably completed them if you've watched this video, however go ahead and share them with friends and other people because it would really help me out. Subscribe for more RuneScape content guys runescape content isn't my main focus unfortunately just because it does take me so long when i have like maybe a spare day or two that's when i make a runescape video as it does take me so long and i want to make the best quality content possible thanks for watching and i'm out